What do you think the result of people watching this video will going to be? We are going to watch today the origin story of Peter Boghossian. Well, you want to come down and have a conversation about it? We're curious about it. We're also just worried about the harm being done to passersby. What harm? What, what is the harm? Good question. There are people, the who went, they, people who went home because it was so yeah. triggering an accident. Some... That's a you problem. People went home because they saw a sign. The, the end result is there. You know you're on film, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know you're on film. Like, you know that what you're saying is going to be recorded. What were they heard about? Because that's not how they identify, and so it seems like a really triggering statement to just say there are two genders. So I think that's the message we're trying to send, is to maybe consider the questions that you're asking or posing before you begin your thought experiment. And you see, look at this, you see people stepping in. About four more people have entered this group in numbers, this power in numbers. Well, just thinking about what it looks like. Yeah. What does it look like to, other, to, to see like community. one, two, three, four, five, five white men. Five white men. Why would race enter into this? What is white? Why did you identify us on the basis of our race? Well, are you the best people to be hosting that, that dialogue? Your race somehow correlates to whether or not you are allowed to conduct a thought experiment. Okay, but I asked you a question. Why did you identify me and these people on the basis like of their race? What it looks like, right? Because you're white. Are you really the best people to be hosting this dialogue? Okay. So given my immutable characteristics, I am not allowed to host this thought experiment. Therefore, my place in the world, my activities are dictated by the color of my skin, according to you, which you claim to be combating racism. But what you just said is the definition of racism. Kind of like the activating, triggering aspect of it all. So you think that it's ex morally acceptable to identify people on the basis of their race? Well done, Peter. It's not a moral question. He's asking you if it's moral. That is a moral question. It's that just about power and privilege. Exists. Yeah, yeah and, and, identity, and representation, right? Okay. What number would be acceptable to you? How many females do we need? How many non-white people do we need present in order for this thought exercise to be allowed to continue. There's not um, sort of a representative, holistic, inclusive feeling, especially from up on high, we're looking down and we see this statement being made. We're Questions. <laughs> we're not allowed to question certain concepts unless we are representative of those concepts or we have enough representatives present. It's a power dynamic designed to protect those concepts from being questioned. Are you, are you curious about like what we're bringing to you at all or do you have? I'm thinking about, uh, I'm extremely curious and I'm extremely respectful. I genuinely re respect the fact that you came. I'm asking you if you would like to participate. You declined to participate and now you're saying, acting as though he's not even interested in having a dialogue. It's so hypocritical. So if what do you gain from this? Like, what is your reason that you just want to cause trouble or like? <laughs> But the idea is you take it out of the university and you see if the reasons that people have for things justify their confidence in it. So I'm very curious. Okay, a sidewalk or a. This is technically not a street, so as though that invalidates anything he's saying. He's like, uh, a this is like a street of epistemology. You're doing this on the port. Okay, if you don't like the word uh, street, you can call it. Uh, Plaza epistemology. What we were struck by was the statement on the board that it wasn't a question and that there was no oh. context clues for folks, especially trans folks, to know that this was not your belief, what? that this is more of a thought experience. Okay. You are accusing the person of doing the very thing that you're doing in order to avoid being of the reality of what you're doing. If I put that on the end, would all of the... Uh, uh, concern vaporize? Uh, no, probably not because we're talking about real humans yeah. with their lived experience and their positionality, their identities, you know, and sort of we, I might have a very different um, personal feeling walking by because it doesn't target my identity specifically. So we're just sort of here to sort of advocate. You just want to advocate. And what advocate means is your view of reality thrust down their throats your suppression of any of these co this conversation and you use advocating to justify the suppression of the conversation 
You don't care at all. I see no indication of any effort to actually use to logically build a case or logically change anyone's mind or the pursuit of truth. What, what, what is the best way for people to understand your point of view? This right now, showing up. Thank you. So the people who watch this, because this is being videoed, do you think that the people who watch this, who don't agree with you, as a result of having watched this, will then agree with you? I'm not asking them to agree with me. But don't I'm you want to facilitate you social change? I'm asking you to have a different perspective to understand where we're coming from, because we're trying, we came down here to try and understand where you're coming from. Did you? So you accuse the other person of, bully, of being a bully so that in order to evade the accusation of being a bully. And that just goes around and around in a circle. Okay, but you have to, please be honest with me. Did, is that really why you came down to understand? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Did you, what is your understanding of why I'm doing this? We don't care about your thought experiment. We care about the human the impact. Okay. The yeah. impact that it's the having arm. on. Okay, so you didn't come down to understand why I'm doing this then. We came, to, we came down here to tell you like what you're doing is harming others. Please point to who has been harmed. Where is that occurring? You can't casually drop statements in like that if they're not real. You're accusing him of harming someone. Who is being harmed? Isn't it better to have a conversation about this than to scream at someone from the rooftop? Oh, I don't know who, I, I, I certainly didn't scream at you from the rooftop. Oh, you're giving me the finger? Hi. Hey dude, it's okay to say F you to Peter. His emotions don't matter. Your emotions just get to steamroll everyone. You're just saying, please go away, you're not welcome. No, I said fuck I think you. I said fuck. Okay. F you, F you, flick people off. But you can't have a dialogue, a rational dialogue around these things because it might cause emotional harm. Sorry if saying fuck you hurt your feelings. And, um... No, it didn't hurt my feelings. But I'm glad because our student who, you know, who was hurt. Uh, I understand that you, you believe this stuff and we live in a democracy and other people don't have those beliefs. And I wanna ask people if the reasons they have for their beliefs are justified. And this is that experiment. We actually have to go. We don't, we're not part of the thought experiment. We're all social workers and we saw this harm being done. And we no, no, this, no, no, but this is, you've made a claim. You've made, you've made a claim, right. This is Maybe what? you'll watch the video and, and have and some... You know, what do you think the result of people watching this video will going to be? What is your intent? What is the impact it's having? That's all right. What harm is being done? I am super grateful to actually have the first sponsor. Aura reached out and they gave me a demo of their product and I, I tried it. It's just an unfortunate reality of the world where data brokers have the ability to sell your private information. I was very hesitant to jump into this world of sponsors, and, but this is one that I do, I, I do feel good about getting behind. So try your first two weeks free to aura.com slash Warren Smith, and I'll put that down in the description.